A toast to Lucas, the newest member of the Eldritch. After more than 24 hours, the massive blaze is finally under control. However, it has just been discovered that there were people in the building during the fire. Three unidentified bodies that have fallen victim to the fire have been transported for investigation. Just today... straight to the back and turn left. What do you mean? Montreal chicken spice is the best. Right, Lucas? Is that to sell Tic Tacs? Uh, yeah, they're just right by the cash register. Good morning. How are you? Hard. Well, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, 
You will be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you on TV. Oh, how are you today? How are you? Yeah. So you want this? You got everything? Yeah. Okay. You better want to scan it. There you go. Your abuse of this school's technology has resulted in a five day in school suspension. Five days? And a permanent ban from school computers. Do you need anything else? Is everything going okay? Oh, yeah, it's good. Hey, still good to meet up? Yep. 20 minutes. See you there. You Darnell? Yeah, but I only got time for introductions. Do you have my pills or not? I do. What do you have for me? You asked me if I've heard the name Jane Graff, right? Well, right before I left Vagabond, we were working on a huge Operation 2014. We were hacking the streets of Toronto, the big city. They call it Project Alpha. I don't know why. We were stealing blueprints of every building and every street. We hacked into the CCTV camera, traffic lights, and even dash cams. We weren't supposed to know anything, but then I heard the boss talking on the phone about how Project Alpha was going to be the death of Jane Graft. But later on, the entire project changed hands because the information had been leaked, and I had no idea what happened to her after that. Are you sure about this? Yes, damn it. Now give me my pills. Thanks. How's the day job? Keep running your mouth, Chance. I'll set it for you. Look, I'm sorry about telling the boss to you to get a job at the grocery store, but I thought you could use a little bit of easy work so the big, more capable boys could do the real work. Cut it out, boys. This is the boss. Watch your back. Family issues. I'm going home.
Relax, Nico. Chance got a $50,000 straight from a few Scotia Bank accounts. So I thought that we should celebrate and take a break tonight. I would have been more useful here than stacking groceries. Chance thought it was good for young people like you to get out and live the ordinary life a bit. You know, you're right. It's better for me to be out there than to be stuck here with that punk. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Blaze. Anything yet? No, nothing yet. Well, we won't give up. We won't work tonight, so you're free to do whatever. Thanks, boss. According to a computer science professor, this hike is much faster and more intricate than the last one in January, or $35,000 for a solar. No other information has to be. The Vagabond, however, is not the first time Just today, there has been another attack from the notorious hacking group Vagabond. An estimated $50,000 from four Scotiabank accounts have been transferred to multiple accounts that are suspected to be owned by these hackers. According to a computer science professor, this heist was much faster Fag and more body. intricate than the last one in January, where $35,000 were stolen. No other information has been released. The Vagabond, however, is not the first hacker group to make the news. In the past four months, three of the most infamous hacker groups, known for having stolen millions of dollars, have been tracked and shut down by the police. There is suspicion among experts that there is indeed a cyber war between these hacker groups, and it seems that the Vagabond is the one calling the shots. While on the topic of hackers, today's heist can be seen as nothing compared to the $23.5 million stolen from RBC in 2015 by a group known as Eldridge. Oh, yeah, the heist was very us. simple, steal $1 from 23.5 million accounts. The stolen money went undetected for weeks, and by then, all the money had been withdrawn from many separate accounts. Due to the $1 tactic, Eldridge has been oftenly referred to as the Looney Thief. Where the hell have you been? The boss has been looking for you. So he sent his lady dogs to come find me? Those firewalls are down. Let's get to work. Three bodies were found yesterday after the fire here in downtown Toronto after the fire department had taken control of the situation. In a shocking turn of events, Two more bodies were found, raising the death toll to five. We'll be back with more details. Did you really think no one was watching you? Who were you talking to? And what did you tell him? It was just my supplier. Oh, we know your supplier. You're the reason he stopped supplying you five weeks ago. You already kicked me out. Why can't you just leave me alone? We kicked you out because we don't support junkies, Darnell. We still keep an eye on you because you seem to know a lot of things. Everything is good, and we were about to leave you alone. 
until we heard your phone conversations, talking about trading pills for information. You didn't even give me my pills. You gave me damn Tic Tacs. But you're a man of your word, aren't you? You did give him information. Just tell us what you know, and we'll let you go. You don't want to cross her. She specializes in torturing people. Crap, no, 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 no. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I told him about Project Alpha. Darn hell. Hold my pants if it isn't chance. So, what do you know about Project Alpha? I worked in it. I hacked CCTV cameras of the streets. We, we stole some blueprints of the area, of the buildings and the roads and everything. I just heard you on the phone talking about how Project Alpha was going to kill Jane Graff. That's all you know? That's all you told him? I swear. Good. Take care of him, Matt. Wait! No, no! Why'd you ask him if that's all he knew? Wasn't that the whole mission? To kill Jane? It's none of your business, Nico. Fine. Hey, boss. So, uh, I'm curious. What was that all about? What do you mean? Come on, boss, man. You know you can trust me. What was Project Alpha all about if it wasn't just to kill Jane? Why do you want to know? I'm a curious guy. Especially when I hear the name of the real loony thief. Fair enough, but the Vagabond doesn't want anyone else talking about it. Come on, you know I'm not just anyone. I'm your only chance. Alright, fine. Project Alpha wasn't made to kill Jane. It was made to fake her death. Without anyone looking for her. And Matt, we had all the time in the world to break her. I mean, look at us. Stealing thousands when we could be stealing hundreds of millions of dollars. If only we knew how she did it. Jane is alive? Well, she's no use to us dead. Where is she? Now that's just a bit more than curiosity, no? Oh, pfft. Nah, I don't need to know. You don't, but she's kept in the old shed at the end of Bias Street. I see. Take care of yourself. Keep an eye on Chance. I feel like he's up to something. Hey, boss, look what I found. Looks like a DIY transceiver. He found it in his backpack. Who knows how long it's been there or how much info it's taken. Damn it, Nico. Trace where it's been sending to. Finally. Gives me something to do. Chance, get the car ready. It's at the motel.
gone. How you doing, man? How'd you guys find me here? Jane left a tracking device on the computer before she gave it to you. How do you know I had it? Do you really think you're the only one that got these plans? Plans? You got those messages too? After Jane died, we all started getting different messages that led to different paths. And all the messages led back here to you. We got here, and all our messages stopped. You have the last step. The last step? You mean taking down the Vagabond? Which obviously you haven't done yet. You were supposed to do that an hour ago. What does that matter? You of all people know that when Jane plans something, it's precise, bulletproof. You have to do the steps as she gave it to you. I couldn't, okay? Obviously you couldn't. You're the same as before. Immature. That's enough, Finn. Lucas, each of us have taken down an enemy. The Vagabond was the greatest of all. They have to go down now. What's stopping you, Lucas? Look, ever since the messages started, I had to understand why Jane would do all this. So I found a contact. A contact? What is there to understand? She left you a plan, so follow the damn plan! Lucas, Jane had always talked to us about a contingency plan for if something were to happen to her. These are her contingency plan. To take down the people who are out for us. We have to move on, Lucas. She's gone, and that's what she would have wanted. You have no idea what I've had to do for us. For our family. Why do you have to be so stubborn? She's still alive, Finn! What are you talking about? It's on the computer. The Vagabonds staged the crash so they could kidnap Jane. Whoever, whatever they found, wasn't her. 
It was called Project Alpha. It's all in there. Oh my god. The project was started in 2014, but then my contact said the project was leaked. Uh, I believe that whoever leaked the information, it was leaked to Jane. Maybe Jane knew she couldn't fight it. So instead, she tried to use it to her advantage by making the contingency plans. She thought she was going to die, but she did anyway. For family. She's out there right now, at these coordinates. If we take down Vagabond now, they might get to her first. Then we have to go now. They're gone. They could be in her by now. Chance and Ian to check on something. Well, I think I know where they're headed. I told him about the shack. You told him about that? If he shows up there, then it means we'll have ourselves a traitor. Traitors have no place among us. I'll kill him myself. Let's go. What the hell? He was at my motel. What's this? May 23rd, place $300 behind Montreal Chicken Spice in Big Way. May 27th, February 8th. His neck's been broken. <laughs> and you guys must be the famous Eldridge crew. The loony thieves, as they call you nowadays. Let her go. I believe you have something that belongs to us. Let her go first. No, the drive first. Let her go first. You're one stubborn mule, but I believe breaking that will not profit you at all, now will it? Unless, of course, you made a second copy? There are 50 terabytes of information in this disk. It would take at least 12 hours to copy all that data, and I haven't had the luxury around here. Don't give it to her! <coughs> oh. Jane. She's still alive. Jane. She's cold. Help me get her up.
Can't believe we actually found her alive. Well, she has some explaining to do. Let her rest for now. Lucas, maybe we should finish the plan. Then we'll talk to her later. Do you have the coordinates? Yeah, I got them. We're gonna use the satellite dish to send all this data to CSIS. Even with a boost, it'll take at least two hours to upload. That's enough time. Everything will be long gone when they find out. Hello, how are you today? Fine, yourself. Good, thank you. You have your parcel to pick up. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good day. He still doesn't know about Finn's plans? Not yet, but why did Finn have to do that, Jane? I don't understand. Was this what everything was about? Where's Chance? The other guy? He's dead. That building, you told me it was empty. It wasn't, was it? Finn, what are you talking about? There, the fire. The identities of the five bodies found in the fire have finally been released. Lucas Cooper, Finn Crawford, Maxine Lopez, Toby Richards, and Clarence Nelson. We'll be back with more detail. You were all good people, but I turned you all into criminals. The only way to fix that was to start again. So I made my choice to give you a brand new start. I knew you wouldn't want to leave this life behind, but I've always wanted what's best for you. We're a family, Jane. We're supposed to stand together, criminals or not. We've always stood together, but that also meant that when we fall, we all fall together. I didn't want that. As soon as I learned that the Vagabond had an unstoppable plan of killing me, well, I thought it was about killing me. I knew it was a matter of time before they found you. So instead of making a plan to save myself, I made a plan to give you a fresh start. Well, you're here now. We can be together again. No, Toby. As far as the world is concerned, I'm gone. Everyone thinks I'm gone. But as soon as they find me alive, and maybe they will, I will stand by my plan to take the fall alone. Jane, please don't do this. I'm sorry. So that's it, we're done, after everything. In these folders are everything you need to start a whole new life. And maybe someday, we'll all meet again in another life.
You gave me a life when I had nobody. You owe me nothing. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long little roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed I fear towards a most useless place, the waiting place, for people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow. Or waiting around for a yes or no. Or waiting Turn for around. their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite. Or waiting for the wind to fly a kite. Or waiting around for Friday night. Or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake. Or a pot to boil. Or a better break. Or a string of pearls. Or a pair of pants. Or a wig with curls. Or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boot bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. Ambulance. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, cause you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not. Alone will be something, you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hanking cries howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up your problems wherever they are. <laughs>